Okay, so now that you have your type bar set up, I'm going to show you how to start to record an activity and to upload that activity. So here is the type bar screen. And on the bottom, you're going to see the sensor connection status. So off to the right, you're going to see the motion sensors. All five of them are connected. And if you have any AMP plus sensors connected, you're going to see them to the side right here. Okay, so once you're on the screen, you're going to want to look at this GPS icon on the top. If it's flashing, it means that the GPS is not connected. So if you want your GPS connected, please stand outside for a couple seconds and it should connect. And once it's connected, it'll become a solid icon. Okay, so to start an activity, you could tap this right button on the right side of the type bar. And at this point, your activity has started to record. So you could uh, scroll through the pages here. Okay. So once you have that, you could press the left key here to mark a lap. And for the motion sensor data, if you want to see more information, if you hold the key down, you go to a detail screen so you can see the number is bigger and the graph will be bigger. And tap the X to return to the previous screen. Okay. And if you want to pause the activity, tap the right button. Now it's paused. And tap the right button again to unpause. Okay. So when you have your activity recording and you're done with your activity and you're ready to stop, pause it again, tap finish, and you could delete the activity or go back to the activity or you could save. So save your activity. Now it's saved. Okay. So now you want to upload your activity. So you have to make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi. And to connect to Wi-Fi, you should be uh, at home or at work, wherever your Wi-Fi is. And once it's connected, it'll show that it's connected on top in the status bar. Okay, and tap activity log. And you will see your activity that you just recorded and tap upload. Okay, and once an activity is uploaded, it will be deleted from your type R and you will be able to view it online on app.leomo.io. And that's it.